Um, number 133 is James Inman. Thanks. I was in the protest. I didn't get arrested, but a year before the entire protest, I was arrested for saying the F word. And I will not use that word in front of the council. I'm sorry. I will substitute the word forget for the word the F word. Okay? So I was trying to go to the bathroom, and the bathroom door was locked, and I said, forget it. And uh, this lady said, uh, excuse me, and I said, uh, I, I need to go to the bathroom. She says, your language. I go, you've never heard the word forget? Uh, how about forget you, you mother forgetter? You ever heard that word before? And then I ran across the street to find another bathroom, and she called the police. And this cop came up to me and said, let me see your license. And I said, what for? You're going to arrest me for saying the word forget? And he said, put your hands behind your back. And I got arrested for saying the word forget. So this is my open letter to Mark Sidron. You dysfunctional, retarded, mentally ill derelict. Demon scum, antichrist, spewing worthless, constipated balls of dung from your funkin' wagnall education. Your liquid emitting fart. You evil bastard. You're a clear-cutting, cigar-smoking, depraved lunatic with a machine replacement head. Pull yourself up by your own bootstraps and please hack off your own feet and eat them. You profit-seeking circus act. Your idiot gibberish fuels the dystopian nightmares cooked up daily from the industrial laboratories of death. The giant echo of no trickling down from overpaid, overfed lackeys. The Gucci overlords and conservatives have always been black-hearted demons. And all WTO representatives are their mutated, half-human, retarded stepchildren. You're incontinent pond scum. You spineless vegetable head of dead lettuce with the mental capacity of a swatch battery, the cognitive skills of a pigeon, and the intelligent quotient of a dirt clod. A blood clot for a brain and a softened skull you can poke your finger in like a stick of hot butter. Those little rodent eyes like two shiny black BBs that never blink, gazing away into empty space, and a third eye on the side of the skull dripping eye snot, combing your hair over so as not to scare children. A dead third eye just above the right ear like a milky black protruding mole. You black magician and puppet master trained by Aleister Crowley and raised by feral goats turning Seattle into Nazi clan outposts with David Duke's twin alcoholic brother at the controls. Your entire philosophy is a bunk corporate hand job, and all your heroes are evil. Anne Rand is a walking brain hemorrhage. Rush Limbaugh is a whimpering, dehumanized thug. Ronald Reagan is a diseased midget steeped in chocolate slim fast. To sum up, my worthless friends, Mark Sidron is a plastic toad, a horrible scab-infected abortion, a demonic fascist, a pathetic worm with dogmatic sermons for an industrial cesspool, a space heater filled with human waste and cat hair, a fan of John Tesh, a corporate shill, a floating green turd in the punch bowl of life, and may bright yellow vitamin-fortified piss flow onto the door handle of his holy automobile.